Today we're going to show you how to install a 3 battery setup with the Trojan GC248 volt lithium ion battery, designed specifically for use in golf cars. Here are the tools you'll need for a safe and effective install. You'll want a battery lifting strap to allow for easy pickup and placement of the batteries. Always be sure to use insulated tools whenever working with electronics. You'll need a non-conductive ratchet with insulated 13mm, a 7 16 and half inch sockets plus an extension for tight spaces. Just in case, an insulated open-ended wrench can come in handy. You'll also need an insulated torque wrench that's been properly calibrated and set between 80 to 90 inch-pounds. Insulated wire cutters are always good to have. You'll want several different lengths of insulated cables depending on the battery configuration. Before you begin, remove all watches, rings, and other jewelry as you'll be working with electronics. Lastly, cut-resistant gloves and safety glasses should be worn at all times during the installation. Before you begin, make sure the brake is set. The ignition key is in the off position, and the run switch is placed in tow mode. After removing the seat, you'll want to sweep out any loose debris with a basic brush, followed by a vacuum to ensure all loose dirt and debris has been removed. Place the first battery and be sure to check the batteries have been turned off by pressing the power button and making sure you do not see a green light by the OK indicator. Place the remaining two batteries and confirm they've been turned off as well. Next, secure the batteries in place with the battery hold downs using the non-conductive ratchet. Beginning with the main positive and main negative, go ahead and make any additional connections for chargers and any other equipment you may have installed in your cart. From there, beginning with the main positive, connect positive to positive to positive across the three batteries. Next, do the same for the negative connection, going from negative to negative to negative across the three batteries. Next, go ahead and make any additional connections for chargers and any other equipment you may have installed in your cart. Once you've double checked both the positive and negative connection sequences are correct, secure them in place using your insulated torque wrench set between 80 to 90 inch pounds. Once all batteries and connections are secure, power on each of the three batteries by pressing and holding the power button until all the lights are on, then holding for an additional two seconds. You can check this by pressing the power button and making sure the OK light is indicated green. Once the batteries are powered on, you're going to switch back from tow to run mode. Put the seat back on the hinges Place your foot on the brake and turn the ignition key to the on position. That's all there is to it. Your trusted Trojan lithium-ion batteries are ready to give you the ultimate golf car performance you've been waiting for.